So now we have our armor in game. Let's go ahead and get our gloves in the game engine. Uh, so let's find our gloves. Uh, let's see here. Uh, since we're working with the Daedric gloves, let's go ahead and open up the Daedric gloves. And again, we'll change the name. So we'll type in 01 uh, uh, Nidacy, since that's my login name, and I'll call this gloves. So it's 01 Nidacy gloves. AA. It should be 01, your Nexus name, gloves, and AA to identify it. And then the biped model, we'll want to go ahead and set this up. Uh, you can see it's F1 for Daedric Gloves. There's nothing in first person. We're going to set this ourselves. Uh, so Armor, Daedric, Daedric Gloves, and we'll select and find our gloves. So we just click Edit. And we go here. It should already be in your your uh, folder because it usually saves uh, where your last location was inside the select file. And you just click Gloves F1. So I'll go ahead and open that, and I'll select OK. And the biped object and all these settings should be correct. And for the first person, since this is F1, the gloves are probably F1. So I'll select the first person gloves. So first person gloves F1, and select Open. And then click OK. OK, once that's done, go ahead and select OK, create a new form. Yes. And now let's go ahead and do our uh, boots. So we'll select our Daedric boots. And we'll go ahead and change the name. And as you can see, this is kind of uh, it's the same process over and over until we get all of our pieces inside of the game. So now to see gloves are, sorry, this is boots. And I select in female my boots. And it's boots F1. And I select open. And select OK. And select OK again. Create a new form. Yes. And last but not, oh well, we got two more to go. So we got the cuirass, the gloves, the boots. We need the helmet. But we don't want to select the Daedric helmet because it may be a different. Um, BS Dismember skin modifier than what the Daedric was because we didn't. I didn't use the Daedric helmet. If you did use the Daedric helmet for its BS Dismember skin modifier, you would use it. Whatever helmet you use to steal the BS Dismember skin modifier from, that's the helmet you would open up because it may have its own unique settings in the uh, biped object section. So since I use the hide helmet, I need to find the hide helmet. So I'm going to scroll down. A B C D F. Hide. Here we go. And it should be in here. Hide helmet AA should work. So I'll just double click that. It's set to hair, so okay. And I want to change the armor hide female helmet light. Or well let's change the name first. Go ahead and set this name to uh zero one night C helmet. And I'll select uh oh. Just hit retry. Anytime something like that pops up, just hit retry. And I want to click edit and select my helmet light. And select OK. And then OK again. And that's set up. So remember, there's only one size for helmets, so you only have to just click the helmet. And select OK. Create a new form. Yes. So now I'll scroll all the way up to the top, and you can see I've got my boots, my gloves, my helmet, my torso, but I still need my mask. Um, so that's why I had you load up the mask tutorial because we used a special BS Dismember Skin modifier from the mask uh, tutorial from the resources. So open that up and go ahead and change the name. So it'd be like 01 uh, Nidacy Mask um, AA for armor add on. And then I'll select my mask. I gotta go find it. So I'm in first person. Remember, mask should just be mask F1 or whatever you change the name to if you did, and select open, and then select OK. Now, see, it has its own BS dismember, a special one for 49, so it has to be set to 49. That's why I had you go ahead and use this so there wouldn't be any confusion on finding which BS dismember it needs to be. Uh, so you got this set up. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, create a new form. Yes. So now I have my boots, my gloves, my helmet my mask, my torso. Now they're all in the game. Let's go ahead and show the game what it's supposed to do with them. So I'll go to armor. Now first thing I need to do is uh, since I use the armor Daedric I want to make sure that the biped objects are identical to what we had in the armor add-on. So I'm going to use the Daedric 
Uh, it should be Armor Daedric Curus. We'll start with the Curus. Double click your Armor Daedric Curus, or if you used Hide to test it in game, you'd select the Armor Hide Curus, or Armor Hide Torso, I think is what it is. And we'll just change the name. We'll change it to 01 Armor. Uh, no, I'll just change this to 01 Nidacy uh, Torso. Uh, and this one you really don't have to add anything on the end of it because this is the actual armor. So it's 01 Nidacy Torso. I'll change the name. This is the actual name of your armor. So whatever you change this to is what it's going to show up as in game. Like if this was hide armor, it would say name hide armor. You know, I'm just going to call my Night of Sea Tour, so you call yours whatever it was. This is how much the item is worth when you try to sell it. Uh, of course, it'll be changed by the game's settings or whatever. Now you notice it's set to 32 body already, so I don't have to worry about the biped object. It's already set up. Um, this is how much it weighs. The enchanting is, you know, if there's an enchant on it already, when they first craft it, it'll automatically have an enchant. That's what this is. Uh, the template armor, I, I've never used this, so I really don't know what that's for. This is how much it weighs. <laughs> I don't know everything. Uh, this is how much it weighs, so, like, you know, if it uh, only weighed 10 pounds, like, let's say you were making light armor, you know, and you wanted to set this to something that was a light armor, I could say seven, you know, and then this is the identifier for if it's light armor, heavy armor, or it's clothing. None is usually clothing, all right, uh, or uh, like a circlet or something, you'd select none. Uh, I'm going to make mine light armor. The armor rating, how much, uh, what's the armor rating of it? Like hard armor, I think it's like 28 or something. I'll make mine 29. Um... So that's how strong the armor is in the game. Uh, you don't worry about equip type. Don't worry about the these two right here. The pickup sound, the put down sound. You can pick a sound in here if you want. You maybe find what find out what clothing is uh, by opening up a clothing and check out what it's pick up and put down. You don't have to set anything in here. It doesn't matter. So you can just leave that blank. Now the world model we have not created yet, so we're going to leave this alone. This is just what it looks like in the crafting window and what it looks like when you throw it on the ground. It's not what it looks like when you have it equipped. All right, so you can just worry about these later. We'll fix that. All right, now in here, this is associating it to the actual object that we put in the armor add-on. This put it in the game. Now we're showing the game how to use it. So we're going to delete this, Dejit Curious, and we're going to select New, and we're going to find our... 01 Nidacy Torso AA. Alright, and then select OK. Now, this is the actual armor that we put in game. We showed the game where it was, now we're showing the game how to use it by selecting this here. Now, this here and the keywords, this sh will, the really the only main thing, uh, we don't want it to be armor heavy, so we're going to delete that. It is a Curus, uh, and we don't want it to be armor material Daedric because it's not going to be crafted in the Daedric section of the crafting. I'm going to have mine crafted in the hide. So the easiest way to do that is to find a hide armor, because I want this to be craftable in the hide section, and I want it to be light armor, so I want to get the keywords for that. And the easiest way to do that is to get the keywords from another folder. So armor hide curious. I'll go ahead and double click that, open it. I'll right click in the editor keywords for the armor hide curious. I'll click copy stack. I can just close this and I can right click in my Knight of C Torso and click Paste Stack. Alright, and that gives me Armor Curious, Armor Light, Armor Material Hide. This tells the game where in the smithing section this is going to be located. It's going to be in the hide section. So when I open up a smithing forge, it's going to be in the hide section. Most people like it to be in the hide so they can start using it right away when they start playing. If you want it to be in the glass section, it would be armor material glass. You'd have to open up the glass folder, get the keyword by copying it, stack and pasting it here. And this is saying that it can be vendored as an armor item. So vendors that buy armor will buy this item from you if you want to sell it. All right, now everything here is set up, so we can go ahead and select OK. Create a new form. Yes. All right, now the next thing we want to do is I'm going to go back to that Daedric and I'm going to go ahead and open up the Daedric uh, Gauntlets. And I'll change the name to 01 Nidacy Gloves and call this Nidacy Gloves. Alrighty, 
And remember the weight. I'll just make it like a 2 because it is light armor. And the armor rating, I'll just set it to an 8. Now you can open up other like light armors to try to find out what good settings are for light armor, you know, if you're making light armor. This is already set up. The world model we haven't created. We need to change the Daedric Gloves. So I'll delete it, select New, and find my 01 Nidacy Gloves, and select OK. And let's see, it's Armor Gauntlets, but it's not Armor Heavy, and it's not Daedric, and uh, Perk Fist Daedric, no, go ahead and delete that. Uh, and then just paste the stack, and then you gotta kinda go in here, and after you paste that stack, you wanna get rid of Curus, cause it's not a Curus, it's Gloves. So just delete that. And then it's Armor Gauntlets, Armor Light, it's craftable in the hide section, and it's a vendor item armor. Uh, so that's good. So I can select OK. And create a new form. Yes, so I got the torso, the gloves. Let's go ahead and get the boots. So I would open up the armor for the boots. Zero one, Nida C boots. Call it Nida C boots. And uh, what's the weight for boots? I'll say it's 2. I'll say it has an armor rating of 8. It is light armor. And uh, that's already set. That's set. I want to associate it with the armor add-on, so I'll delete that, select new, select my Nidacy boots, and select OK. And uh, in here it's armor boots. It's not armor heavy, so I want to get rid of that, and it's not going to be crafted on the Daedric, so I'll get rid of that. And I'll go ahead and paste the stack that I got from the hide section. And it's not a curious, so I gotta get rid of that. So every time you paste from it, you have to get rid of what was not necessary just by deleting it. You know, that one thing. Alright, so this looks good. It's armor boots, armor light, craft bone, the hide section, and it's a vendor item armor. And then I'll select OK, create a new form. Yes. So now we have the torso, the boots, the gloves. We need the helmet and the mask still. So let's find. Uh, the hide helmet because that's what I used for testing and I want to make sure it has the right setting so armor hide helmet luckily I don't have to change anything here because it's already light armor it's already a helmet and it's already craftable in the hide section so I just gotta change the name 01 Nida C helmet Nida C helmet uh, values 25 weights 2 it's light armor armor rating 10 that's fine it's a very strong helmet. And then in hide uh, helmet, I don't want that because I don't want it to be the hide helmet. I want it to be my Nidacy helmet. So I select OK. And that's already set up. We're good here. And select OK. Create a new form. Yes. Now for the mask, remember we're using the tutorial mask. So we'll open up the 01 mask tutorial armor and we'll change the name to Nidacy mask. We'll call it Nidacy Mask, and it's already set to light 1, 2. It already has the 49 uh, BS Dismember Skin modifier. Armor light, armor material hide, vendor item armor. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, it's going to show as a curious, but it's actually a mask. Don't worry about that. And then just uh, delete the mask tutorial, because we don't want the mask tutorial. We want the 01 uh, Nidacy Mask, All right, or whatever you named yours. And select OK. Now that's associated. So I'm going to say create a new form. Yes. So now all that's set up. Now we have to set it up to how is it going to be craftable in game. So I've got to go to constructible object. All right. Now um, the easiest way to do this is since I'm having this all crafted in the hide section, I need to go find a hide item, uh, which is the recipe armor hide care. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that and open it. Right, because this will have all the settings that we already need. Because uh, I want it craftable in the hide. If you want it craftable in the glass, find something from the glass section. Or if you want it uh, craftable from the ebony in the smithing section, find an ebony item and open up a recipe armor ebony curious. You know, because it already has the settings you have. Since I'm having mine craftable in the hide section, I'm going to open up the hide curious because it'll save me time. All right, and I'm out of time for this video. I'll see you here in a second.